These days, access to apps has never been so simple. With the Google Play Store and Apple's App Store, you can pretty much find whatever app you would ever need. However, there still are a couple of reasons you might want to sideload an app, specifically on Android. This is Luke Pollock with Android Police, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install slash sideload APKs onto your Android phone or tablet using APK Mirror. Now, quick note, this video has been adapted by Ryan Haker's guide over on androidpolice.com. If you prefer to read it, the link will be in the description below. So you might be asking yourself, what is sideloading? Sideloading is the process of installing an application yourself outside an official source like the Play Store. Now, you may have several reasons for wanting to install an application that isn't from the Play Store, such as installing beta applications or applications not officially supported by Google i.e. the Nova Companion. Or you might want to install an app that Google has removed from the Play Store altogether. The point is, whatever your reasons are for sideloading, there are options. But if you get those apps from the wrong place, they can be filled with malware and pirated content, and that's why we built APK Mirror. APK Mirror is a website and an installer that lets you sideload APKs safely and securely. But in order to understand how this works properly, we first have to learn more about APKs. Now today, Android has both normal APKs and split APKs, also known as app bundles. These app bundles are great because they help save bandwidth and storage space, but unfortunately, they make it pretty difficult for people to share apps outside the Play Store. This is a result of every phone technically running a slightly different version of each app. However, APK Mirror and the APK Mirror Installer app eliminate this problem. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to the Play Store and install APK Mirror Installer. If you can't find it there, you can also install it over on the APK Mirror site. From there, you want to navigate to apkmirror.com and search for the specific app you want to install. One thing to note, not every app on the Play Store may be available and there might be lots of different versions. It will depend, but you probably want the most recent version that doesn't say beta in the name. Now, once you've found the app that you want to install and the right version, tap the download icon on the right. From here, scroll down to the download section. Again, you might see a few variants for different versions of Android, architectures, and DPIs. You might need to do a bit of research to figure out which version is right for your phone, but APK Mirror has an FAQ that can help you if you need it. You will probably be okay with an ARM64 ARC and NODPI, and when you found the right variant, go ahead and tap it. Now on the next page, scroll down and tap on the colorful Download APK or Download APK Bundle. You might be prompted to save the file, and if you get a warning that the file format or extension is dangerous, go ahead and allow it if you're willing to trust APK Mirror as a source. From there, head on over to your downloads, which you can see either in the File Explorer or the Download Notification. Go ahead and select the app you just downloaded, and it will prompt you to open with an application. Make sure to choose APK Mirror Installer. Now, depending on whether or not you are installing app bundles or a normal APK, you're going to see different information on the app bundles page. If you do, you can tweak different things you want to install. However, we recommend just trusting the app's judgment. If you are installing normal APKs, you'll get a simpler prompt. Whichever you get, tap install to continue. Now, the first time you install an application from an unknown source, you might run into some issues. On the most recent versions of Android, you're going to be prompted to allow the APK Mirror Installer app as a source for app installations. Now, while we don't recommend enabling the setting for just any app, it's perfectly safe to do it for APK Mirror. The reason Google implemented this into Android is to protect you from installing apps that might contain malware. But if you downloaded the app from APK Mirror, you're not going to have any issues with that. If you're running an older version of Android pre-Android 8.0 or so, you will have to enable a separate toggle to install apps from unknown sources, and usually the setting can be found in Settings and Security. If you can't find it, you can also search for Install Apps or Install Unknown Apps in Settings. Once this is done and you've allowed APK Mirror as a source, you can go back to the APK Mirror app and the installation process will continue. If you do run into an error where the app is closed or you closed it, no worries, just simply relaunch the downloaded APK from your file browser or manager. Now from there, APK Mirror will prepare the installation and then ask again if you want to install the app. Tap install one last time and that's it. You've successfully sideloaded an app. 
Now, if you run into any problems during this process, APK Mirror Installer will let you know by spitting out a large warning. For instance, if you selected an x86 APK when your phone is an ARM64, then the installation isn't going to work. So it's important to make sure that you install the correct version of the app for your particular phone. Now, obviously you might be a little bit wary about installing apps from somewhere other than the Play Store and with good reason. But let me reassure you, you can trust APK Mirror. We run it and we stand by it. We've done our best to make a well-made, easily navigated repository of Android applications and the apps on APK Mirror are signed by their developers unmodified and completely safe to use. We don't supply any pirated or cracked apps which are often loaded with malware. And lastly, if you still don't believe us, check out a ton of other impartial sources that trust us in the link in the description below. Well, there you have it. Just like that, you can be sideloading applications in no time. Again, if you want to read a bit more in depth, take a look at the guide over on the Android Police site, which will be in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Android Police. And if you want to see some of my own content, feel free to check out my channel too, Technomit. But for now, this is Luke with Android Police, and I'll catch you in the next video.